What's up YouTube, it's your boy, and today we're doing my first ever speed build for Planet Zoo, and today we're going to be building a habitat for the dromedary camel, because the arid animal pack has just launched. So you'll see here, I'm just kind of building a little outline for the shelter building. I don't finish this here, because I don't really know how to do backstages right now, if I'm being honest with you, at least not like good realistic ones. And so I've been kind of holding out on doing that. I did comment on one of Eben, another Planet Zoo YouTuber. If you don't know who Eben is, you should probably subscribe to him if you like Planet Zoo content. You probably already are. Uh, anyway, I, I asked him in one of the comments. I was like, hey, uh, can you show us how to do backstages? Because yours are really good and so can you show us how to do it and he actually replied and he was like yeah i'm planning on it but i'm really busy right now so i've been kind of holding back on doing any backstage stuff until he puts out a video because i i just respect his work so much and i don't know what i'm doing so i i need help uh but yeah what i'm doing here i'm just kind of outlining a sort of rock wall for the back uh, there's going to be some kind of buildings up there at some point in probably the very far future. It's not really relevant to, to this build. But yeah, the idea is just kind of like, just like a sandy cliff face with like the rock walls all crumbling down. And oh, I, I forgot to mention, the main idea of this habitat is that it's going to be like a desert oasis. So you'll see me making the little oasis in the middle of there in a minute after I... I'm finished doing all my rocks because you know I love my rocks. Um, I didn't use any. Oh, there, there's the oasis. Yeah, like I said. And then I wanted to kind of make a nice rocky bottom, um, which, it, you know, it went all right. I I was trying to use these like pillars and then sinking them into the ground and just to make like little rocks. Um, I ended up scrapping this idea eventually because it it takes so long something uh it's it's really difficult to do to make like the little like gravelly small rock surfaces in this game because like you can copy and and paste stuff over but like it'll it's hard to explain the rocks don't like sink into the ground properly if you just like copy big groups of rocks and then try and move them around so yeah i kind of got bored of that you know um and then i started actually doing some of the foliage work around here I pretty much never use these um what are they called papyrus pieces I don't think they look very good but like this is like an Egyptian oasis I felt like I had to use the papyrus and then this this recording was at least this first part of the speed build I recorded this before uh, the new update dropped because I wanted to add the new Nitraria retusa bushes they added some new variants. It was already like one of my favorite desert bushes in the game, but they added the new variants in with the update. So I was like, man, I've got to get those bushes in, but I can't do it yet because I wanted to start recording this early. I'm really glad I did because I'm going to be getting this out late on launch day because, you know, I had to I had to work. But yeah, I'm glad I started recording this early because otherwise I would not have had this ready for today because, you know, I only have... 30 subscribers so it's not like Frontier is giving me a early access to the pack and the update but anyway uh, you'll see those pyramids in the back I had already built those I've already built a lot of things in the zoo those are already there and this originally was actually gonna be where I was gonna put the gems block until this new pack was announced and then I was like oh let me uh, let me scrap that idea put the gems block somewhere else that's like the main part of the reason why I was frustrated with this pack is because I have to move so many things around now because I've already built so much in the zoo. But anyway, here I'm building like a little, like a tent, like a nomad tent, just for like some extra theming stuff. I figured, oh, you know, we have, we have ancient Egypt stuff. Let's add like a little archeologist outpost or something like that. I don't know. I'm really happy with how it turned out though, even though I just kind of like threw it together with these little African curtain pieces, but like it actually looked really good in the end. But yeah, 
just for some like extra theming stuff in here because as I mentioned in the entrance building this isn't really like a typical zoo zoo it's more of like a resort and so you know you have the budget here at Irwin Memorial Zoo to make extra fancy stuff for no reason other than to look good because I didn't really want to build this zoo as like a city zoo there's a lot of people building city zoos out there and like it's cool I get it it's like realistic but like I really just wanted to build something crazy with this zoo and just make some everything look cool like I don't just want to make realistic stuff even though I try to make realistic stuff at the same time I'm like trying to like toe the line between realism and fantasy here and eh, I do okay sometimes you know so sometimes it is realistic and sometimes eh, not so much but it's whatever uh, moving right along with this uh, tent thing here um, yeah I just start doing more foliage work I do love me some foliage work um, I really like habitats to be look like lush it makes them look so much more interesting even though I have a tendency to go a little overboard with the lushness especially in a habitat like this where you know you have herbivores like dromedary camels they're just gonna eat absolutely all the plants in this habitat like there's gonna be nothing realistically there would be no plants in here but I wanted it to look fancy so I put plants in because yeah why not oh and then here, here's the little blueprint for the faux rocks that I've been using that I made myself it's uh, a lot easier than the uh, the little rock pieces I was using earlier but it also ends up looking kind of repetitive but it's like eh, I didn't want to take forever doing this you kind of have to you know make concessions sometimes as you're building just be like I I can't do this forever you know I have to I have to cut maybe a corner or two to you know actually finish stuff because if you spend forever building one thing then you'll just never finish and it's it's nice actually finishing things occasionally yeah do a little more uh the fancy rock works fancy schmancy didn't use any faux rocks here because i felt like the faux rocks are not the vibe that i was going for um i wanted because like in deserts you see a lot of sandstone so that's kind of what i wanted to put there but anyway um yeah more just foliage work not much to say here about what's going on um i guess i'll throw in a question of the day because that's a thing that youtubers do right i'm trying to be a youtuber now uh what was your favorite animal added in the arid animal pack i'd say personally i really like the sand cat i don't know something about it is just like it's so tiny and I like I like tiny animals building for tiny animals and tiny habitats because it's it's a lot easier to make those tiny habitats like look interesting as opposed to this gigantic habitat that I'm building here uh, and then I just started building this little fence here for the guests uh, these little wall pieces are actually from the Twilight pack so shout out to that pack it is underrated I understand it's not everyone's favorite it's not my favorite either but it is underrated it has some good stuff in it and I was when I was trying to figure out what to do for this part I just googled Egyptian fence and most of the search results were for the Israel Egypt fence the border fence and I was like hmm, that's probably not what I'm going for uh, but there was like this one brick wall and I was like hmm that's what I'm going for as so I that's what I'm building here is what I saw there but yeah the the twilight pieces work very well for that it, it looks very similar to what i saw in the picture so shout out twilight pack stay goaded um ah and here we get to the part where it's actually today and the netraria retusa bush variants have been dropped so I'm just going crazy with these because I really I, I love this bush especially the dead bush variants 
like dead plants the, there just weren't enough in the game before especially when you're trying to build a desert habitat but now you can just go crazy with the dead bushes and you know whatever you're trying to build these are super super helpful honestly I'm low-key more excited that we got these dead bushes than like anything in the actual DLC that we got <laughs> just the nice dead bushes we got from the update um, and then I start building a little fence here uh, just to add like a double fence for a little bit more a um, little bit more safety for both the uh, the guests and the animals uh, like I said earlier I, I try to keep things realistic not always super successful I definitely need to do some stuff with my lion habitat because the, the fence is like non-existent and so they can just jump out and eat the guests at any point but th that'll have to come later <laughs> the, my lion habitat was the first one I built so it's uh, not the best not my best work but uh, I, I'm liking what I've did in this habitat one of my main goals for this zoo was to make every habitat feel like unique and interesting so even if I'm building for something like the springbok which is for me one of the least interesting animals in the game you know it's just like it's a face game animal uh, it's just it's just kind of there I don't know, there's probably some people out there that like have the springbok as their favorite animal and they're going to be mad about this, but hey, it's just not really for me. Um, oh, apparently camels can jump. <laughs> I was trying to mess around with the traversable terrain area and like the camels can just like jump up and down, so I just moved the, the uh, barriers around so that they wouldn't be able to do that. And then with this last little dead space, I wanted to add a little bit of ruins, but if you try to look up like Egyptian ruins, then there's not a ton in there. Um, mostly just pillars and temples, so I I, uh, I just put some pillars in. There's already a lot of pillars in this area, but yeah, I was like, oh, I'll put some more pillars, why not? Uh, and then the last thing I did in here is I just finished up a little bit more of the shelter building I still didn't complete it a hundred percent but you know I just wanted to add some detailing oh my god oh bad add some more detailing make it look a little more more interesting so it's not just the bland plaster pieces everywhere but um that's about it for the, the actual speed build I have a couple cinematic shots coming up in a second um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked, hey, why don't you drop a sub, drop a like, tell me some, give me some comments. You know, I'm uh, trying to actually be serious about YouTube. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I've never really fully committed, but um, I've been enjoying doing this so far. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and here's the cinematics. Thank you. Bye.